Hello everyone, my name is Michael at michaelstutorials.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you um, how to make UMMO, a Unity um, MMO solution, um, how to automatically connect to its server. So if we go ahead and open Demo Scene 1 and we go and find the UMMO object, I want to switch Architecture to Compile to Unity Editor is Client and Other is Server. I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to hit build and run so you can test it really quickly. I'm going to hit windowed and hit play. And now if I play in here and I allow access, I'm going to go ahead and not maximize it. You can see that we are connected to our server and everything looks really great. Camera's smooth, everything's smooth. Um, so everything is working. Now all we need to do is make it automatically connect. What we're trying to get rid of, if I show you now, is connect as client, connection status disconnected, and we'll make it automatically connect so you don't have to press that button. Because I don't think many MMOs have that button connect as client. So let's go ahead and fix that. So if we go ahead and type in UMMO connection, we click on these. It is very simple, so the third one. So open UMMO connection GUI underscore very simple. And in here we're going to go ahead and remove, we're going to change this to update. Um, and then UMMO, up here we can type in UMMO underscore connection GUI module. And now we can change this to update and that should be good and now we can just remove everything that has GY in it That should be it. Let's go ahead and we're going to need another public um, public pool is connected equal false and we'll leave it like that for now and we're going to go ahead and oops we're going to go ahead and copy this and remove it for now. We're going to go down here and we're going to create a coroutine I enumerator um, connect to coroutine. And in there we can just put that. You return new, wait for seconds, 0.25F. Eh, and then we can set is connected true. Now that basically just checks if we actually started our coroutine, because if it's started, I don't want to um, start it again. Um, and down here I'm going to set is connected equals false, so that since we're updating, we can actually just keep checking. So if it's disconnected, it will try again to connect. Um, that is how I think I did it. Um, let's try it out. If is connected equals false, start coroutine, connect to coroutine, like so. Now if we go in here, we build and run. No errors, so we're good to go on that side. And we have one error. It's connecting too many times, like I like I had assumed would happen. 
Um, so what we need to do is I'm going to create another if statement that works on its own. If network dot peer type equals disconnect network peer type got disconnected. Let's try it again. Else return. Let's try that. Yes, you'll notice that I'm debugging here. I tell you what, I'll fix it and then I'll start recording again, but for now I'm going to pause. Okay, so what we need to do is right here we're going to change oops from this so from that we're going to go to if we copy that remove it um, and add another yield return new wait for seconds after our um, if statement and then do is connected equals false. Um, it's kind of a bad name for the bool, so I'm I'm not going to change it, but yeah. And then up here I added if umo dot get architecture to compile it is client, so if our architecture is client, um, so it's basically the same except for this. Um, so you can go ahead and add that. Now if we build and run, it should work. Compiler, compiler errors. Okay, is connected. Oh, <laughs> um, let me fix that. I was going to change the names, but then I didn't. And so only some of them got changed. Okay, so now we can do it. And there you go, now it's working. Um, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, thanks for watching and subscribe and like, you know, all that YouTube stuff.